guys so why am i filming in a car with not so quality uh video i usually always want to sit down and film these kind of videos and i find myself preparing for it a lot in the car and i literally like talk to myself in the car so much that i never really end up filming the video because when i sit down to film i'm like what the fuck did i say again i want to film this video for first of all myself because it's kind of like a documenting myself my own journey kind of thing why is my signal on my bad um but also for my followers for my friends for anyone who's asked me about glute growth Yay! obviously i don't have the biggest booty out there because hello first of all i'm asian i was born with literally an inverted ass like let me show you a before picture right here and the sad thing is you might think this was small but i thought i had a nice ass before and this is in 2014, so this was when I was kind of eating like shit still. Like I thought I was eating well sometimes, and then sometimes it would be like off the wagon. I would be eating like fried chicken all the time, cause like Korean fried chicken, like that's life. This is when I was squatting. I was not really doing a lot of accessory work, and I was just kind of like yoloing my workouts. I never really ever did cardio because bleh, still cardio, bleh, but just showing you like how it looked like before and now i don't i can't really show you my ass because i'm driving and if i get up to show you i might crash my vehicle therefore you'll never see this video so i'm just going to show you a few pictures right here of what my booty currently looks like and keep in mind like obviously if you see me in real life my booty is not always going to be as bodacious as it is right now in these photos because hello first of all angles lighting in mind and that goes for every single person on Instagram don't ever compare your own ass to someone else because on Instagram everything's very very different like people's editing people's angles I do know like so many people Photoshop their own pictures to make their ass like look so much bigger than it is in real life and sometimes you can really catch it like on their photos like why are the walls bent why does this door have a curve in it Keep in mind, a lot of people on Instagram, on YouTube, like they film their videos. A lot of them are, first of all, they're already blessed with a big ass, like they have good genetics. I'm not trying to be like stereotypical or like make racial slurs or anything like that. You guys know, like black girls have a big ass, like they're born with a big ass. Black girls, like Latina girls, their bodies are like naturally really, really curvy and nice. Whereas like Asians were born like flat like a pancake. We don't really have it going on kind of thing. We still work it though, so you can't really ever compare your body to someone else's. The point of this video is to tell you, glute growth, although it is very different and can reflect like differences in every single body depending on what you do and how you do it and the way your genetics are, all of that, there are a few things very instrumental to glute growth. So I recently saw a video on YouTube where this girl says don't do squats. And I've literally heard this in real life too. People are like, all it does is grow your quads. It doesn't grow your ass. It doesn't do that. And I feel like people with such a large following should not be advocating that to everyone because if you have like thousands and thousands of followers and you're telling everyone not to do squats, it has worked for a lot of people. So I just want to address that first. It kind of pissed me off to say that someone is literally telling so many girls that are trying to grow a butt to not do squats. Squats are one of the most instrumental things to growing an ass. And if you found that you're only growing your quads and not your ass, of course, squats will definitely grow your quads. And if you look at most muscular, very defined women out there, they have a nice muscular ass and they have quads that come with it. Like there's no such thing as having like weak ass quads and like a beautiful ass. And if it is, it's either surgery or genetics. Because if you are going from zero to having a butt, quads will come with it, no matter what you do. Your legs will grow as your butt grows. You can't just grow one thing. And of course you can do things to isolate your glutes. If you're not feeling that squats are growing your butt, then probably you're doing them wrong. And I don't mean that in a rude way, but a lot of girls, I see that they're squatting and even though they're squatting light weights, they're not doing a full depth and full range of motion. When you're only squatting parallel, most people I see don't even do, they squat just above parallels. 
if you really want squats to benefit you in terms of growing an ass, you're going to have to adjust the way you squat. Each squat you do has a different purpose. So if you're powerlifting, obviously you want to get that squat to hit that perfect um, depth so that you don't get red lighted on a competition. If you are bodybuilding, a lot of them do a lot of like pulses and they do a lot of um, isolated movements and do like lunges and all sorts of bands and all that stuff. But if you are trying to grow your butt to be bigger and juicier, what would be best for you is to squat. And I wouldn't squat a light weight where you can go like thousand times with it. I would squat a moderate to heavy weight where you can still get a full range of motion and still feel every isolation in your movement. So you should be squatting ass to grass. That's the term for it. And you should be squeezing your butt, doing that ugly butt squeeze at the top. And I'm inserting pictures right now here. And that means you're literally doing like a Chinaman squat. You're squatting to the lowest point that you can squat. And you are going to push up from your heels. And when you get to the top, you're going to squeeze your ass together. And this is the most biggest thing that a lot of people forget and people that usually complain that squats aren't building their ass they are not doing ass to grass please girls do your squats um, lesson number two is you gotta do a lot of isolation exercises so i do agree that you can't just do squats if you want to have a peachy butt like obviously you'll grow a butt you'll grow muscle from having a um from just simply doing squats. To get it peachy and have that nice round shape, you gotta do a lot of different isolation exercises that solely focus on your glutes. And it does help me better my form and the way I squat and how it feels when I squat heavy. A few of my favorite things I'm gonna tell you right now, and I don't think I have videos of me doing these isolation work exercises right now with me um, on my computer at all. Can these people go? <laughs> like, fuck. This guy is literally the slowest person I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna tell you what they are in the most effective ones. Obviously, there's a bunch of them, but I'm gonna tell you some of my favorite and I found most effective because recently I just wrote a glute program for myself and I found that in two months or three months, two and a half months, my glutes have grown two inches. That's the best way to know if you're actually growing your butt is by measuring your glutes. Some of the best exercises I found, this one is a hip adductor. Hip adductor is the one that you move, people usually refer to it slang as in like bad girl because you're literally opening up your legs on and on. And this one is the glutes queen. This will also help you a lot with your squats. You can either sit in it with your back straight or what I like to do is I like to go super, super heavy and stand up, hold onto the machine on both sides and you just open your legs. You'll definitely feel the burn in your glutes. And I feel like whenever you feel that burn in your glutes, like you know that your glutes are growing because you're isolating them in a way that they'll grow. Another machine I like to do is the hack squat machine. And I like to face the other way. So I'm facing the pillow. And when I face the pillow, I just squat. I uh, try to go as low as I can. Um, sometimes I do have mobility problems on this because like my face is literally like uh, on the mat. But the hack squat is so effective. Picture of the machine right here. Um, you can do so many other exercises with this. And with this machine, I don't like to go heavy. I like to go pretty light. Like I only put like a plate on and then I will do tempo work with it. And tempo work means you're going super, super slow and that isolates your hamstrings, your quads, and your ass that much more. It just makes it so much more effective for your glute work. And speaking of this machine, the next machine that you should focus on are leg presses. So leg press machines can come in many, many different forms, but I like to do the one where I'm on my back and I'm pushing the weights. And I like to do the one where I do um, on my side, where I kick it out like from the side. I'm pretty much laying on my side like that and I'm just kicking it. <laughs> I'm just kicking it, you know? And that one really shapes like the outer side of your butt and gives it that really, really peachy, nice glute feel. There's a bunch of other ass machines that I'm sure that you'll find effective use out of. But those are my top three and let's move on. Accessory work. 
I used to never ever do accessory work because I was always like, what's the point? Like, why would I do accessory work? For me, I would never ever just focus on body weight exercises. People who do glute activation all day with bands, they have like 40 different bands. I don't even have one band. Um, they are good for resistance, but like, I don't need them. Body weight exercises are important, but I will never ever stress that they are the most important things. Um, accessory work doesn't necessarily mean body weight exercises, but it's little things that you can do to help you reach your goal. So if your goal is to grow your butt, if your goal is to get bigger numbers in powerlifting, um, to get better form, um, I'm going to insert a quick little clip right now of some of my favorite body weight exercises in terms of improving like glutes and legs in general. These are some of my favorite, favorite things to do. Hello, hello, hello to the public. I said greetings, time is money, I am time. So it's like your girl walked out the precinct because she did time. You told her you're not, there's a thin line. Say go on the wrist, but I still shot. You got a fan base, but a built mine. So suck these. Building with my stamina. Tell these haters, bag it up. She playing with my stick like it was hockey night in Canada. Struggles kill me every day. I lift the weight like dumbbells. We can't wait for heaven, but till then, boy, we ain't done hell. Girlies at the crib, they take my shots just like a bunch The enemies, girl, yeah, she love me because I fuck. Oh well, hit the deck as I'm about to blow. Got your girl chilling in nothing but a shower clothes. Said I will never ever say that body weight work and accessory work is better than weights because it is always most important to squat. Like squat is the holy grail. Like that's the one thing you need to do to grow an ass. The last thing in order to grow a butt, to get a better butt, is your nutrition. So it is very, very, very difficult for someone to be cutting and shredding down and grow a butt in the first place. You can't be eating like friggin' a celery stick and like, oh, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna grow a butt. Even if you are doing all these things I told you, but you're not eating enough, you will never ever have that nice butt as you can have with proper nutrition. So definitely eat clean carbs, carbs that can be turned into energy super super quickly everyone nowadays is like scared of carbs you can rob a bank with a fucking bagel nowadays because people are just so terrified of carbs there are good carbs in this world people like eat oatmeal eat oats eat quinoa sweet potatoes butternut fucking squash all of that will definitely help you grow a butt make sure you are eating enough protein so lots of whole protein sources um chicken breast obviously is the go-to drink protein shakes if you're not getting enough protein in your diet make sure you're not eating a lot of saturated fats and that's basically the very very simple simple nutritional guide I can give to you like obviously if you want me to explain macros and all of that in much more detail it would take a much longer time than this Anyways, that is all I have to say for now this is a very very general guide on how to grow your butt and I felt like I really had to address this because I don't want people there thinking the wrong things follow me on instagram my instagram is az list post a lot of fitness videos fitness guides photos thirst traps just kidding i also have snapchat if you guys want to follow me on that i'll put the code right here that is it for now i have to go bye